All right, y'all, so these past few weeks have actually been crazy in terms of the types of stuff that I've been finding in the thrift store. I typically don't find any luxury brands in these thrift stores. They either put them to the side, they price up, they price them, you know, ridiculously expensive, or they just sell it online. But these past few weeks, I've been coming across a ton of luxury brands. Even in my last What Sold, I sold three pairs of Gucci loafers and a pair of Salvatore Ferragamo shoes. And that was insane for me because I typically don't find those types of brands anymore but in this what sold in this uh, trip to the thrift um, drop a comment let me know if you guys are even interested in these types of trip to the thrift videos because it's been over you know two years since I've been making trip to the thrift videos and I kind of want to get back to doing that and this is just a temperature check to see if you guys are even interested in those style of videos but like I said these past few weeks have been insane so I decided to just share some of my best finds of the week and of course I'm gonna do an update and tell you guys what sold how much it sold for and so on and so forth so if you guys are interested in these types of videos, hit that like button, drop a comment, let me know if you guys, you know, want to see more of these videos. And without further ado, let's get into so it. So this was an amazing find to start the day off. Uh, when I first seen this pair of loafers, I just thought they were a typical pair of Cole Haan or even Kenneth Cole, but it was the leather quality that stood out to me. And if you guys aren't familiar, John Lobb is one of the most expensive pairs of shoes that I'm familiar with, especially when it comes to menswear. John Lobb, their shoes retail for about anywhere between $900 to $1,500. And when I seen this, I almost lost my mind. It was insane. Seven bucks for this pair of John Lobb loafers. They should sell for about $300 to maybe $400. I'm just going to, you know, clean them up just a little bit, but I'm not going to do too much to those shoes. Um, they even had this pair of Adidas here that was almost brand new for $25. Bucks, but come on, John Lobb, $7? Give me that. Uh, next up, this pair of Chelsea boots. I actually thought this was a pair of Magnani boots. Once I looked at the brand a little closer, I realized that this was just a uh, Amazon brand. Um, I was trying to see if the quality was still more of a higher end pair of boots, if they were Goodyear welted or anything like that. But this was basically just, you know, a, a cheaper pair of boots that they made to look better than they actually were. If I was trying to flip these, I'd probably get 30 or 40 bucks for these, but I do like these boots a lot. They're my size, really dope color. I'm going to keep them. Uh, next is this Prana hat. Prana is another really nice brand. It was, uh, it did have tags, but it definitely wasn't brand new. I think somebody just attached the tag back on there. Ended up passing on that. That hat probably should have sold for like 20, 25 bucks. Uh, next is this black pair of Chelsea polo boots. Really, really good quality on these boots. Um, if I ever pick up polo boots, I usually would get the, the heavier ones. They're more like snow boots. But these should still sell for about 60 to maybe 80 bucks. Um, might have to wait a little while for these to sell since we're going into the spring summer season now. But I had to grab these up. There's no way I was going to pass on these uh, just based on the crease in. So had to take a chance on those. Next up, we got this pair of Xenia denim jeans. Only $11 for these jeans. Um, Xenia is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. Uh, thankfully, these already did sell for me on Poshmark for $49. Bucks. And these were a really good size, size 38. So definitely be on the lookout for larger sizes when you're, you know, sourcing for pants and, you know, just clothes in general. Larger sizes typically sell better for me. Um, as you guys can see, the thrift store is usually always bugging out when it comes to their prices nowadays. They had a pair of Xenia pants for $11 and then a pair of Lucky Brand jeans and Levi jeans for $50. Why? Because they were brand new with tags. But y'all could keep those. I'll sell the Xenias and keep it moving. Next, we found this pair of Brioni pants. Um, Brioni is another really high-end brand. I'm more familiar with them in terms of their suits and ties and dress shirts, stuff like that. Never found a pair of Brioni pants before, but these should sell for about, I'm thinking 60 or 70 bucks. Um, they did have a couple minor stains, so I'm going to have to get that out. I might have to try like a Tide pen or something like that. But Brioni for only $6, that's a no-brainer. These will sell in no time. So this was uh, another first for me. So finding built in the thrift is pretty rare for me. These usually do sell between uh, 40 and 50, depending on the style and, you know, the sizes and stuff like that. Um, just some minor little flaws on these. I'm just going to use the fabric shaver to get, get rid of some of that pilling. But overall, I was very, very excited to find these pants because I like the brand itself. 
but I was even more excited with the fact that I found like seven pairs of built pants in one day. Absolutely insane. Um, I got some blues, I got some grays, I got some tan, and they should all sell between 40 and 50 bucks. So um, I'll throw some comps of some of the stuff that um, previously sold, because I did sell a few pairs of these already. But overall, just really excited about Built. Um, it's one of those brands that not a, people, not a lot of people are familiar with, but if you are, you know that they sell pretty well. Uh, next is this uh, Polo Ralph Lauren Thermal Hoodie. 10 bucks for this one. I should be able to sell it for at least 40 so I'll take a chance on this one. Uh, really clean, no major flaws, no holes or anything like that, so definitely going to take a chance on this. Um, I don't even find Ralph Lauren hoodies as often as I would like to because these are usually very fast sellers, but I'm just glad that they didn't price them too high because these thrift stores are getting out of control lately. So here we have another pair of slacks, and this is actually from the brand Ted Baker. Um, Ted Baker is kind of hit or miss because if you check eBay, right, it does sell, typically would sell for a decent amount of money, but I've had Ted Baker pieces in my store for sometimes for like six months to a year. So because these are brand new with tags, um, it even has the raw hem on the bottom. You know, when I say raw hem, it, it's basically unfinished. So somebody would buy this and then get them hemmed uh, based on their height. So that's how I know these are actually really brand new. Um, not somebody to just put the tag back on there like they did with that Prana hat. But for something like that, I should get at least 50 bucks. And I would just wait a while for the right buyer to come along. Uh, next is this Carhartt jacket. Um, since we are approaching spring, summer, this might take a while before it sells. But cross my fingers, hopefully it does sell a little quicker. Um, they was asking 25 bucks for this. I typically try not to spend this much money on pieces, but this is really just the name of the game nowadays. Um, I'm finding myself paying up a lot more often or a lot more than I would like to, but it is what it is. Um, I always try to make sure that I put the tag keyword, that, that style code, in my actual listing description and title because people sometimes search for that so that's just a quick little tip but overall this carhartt jacket was really nice really clean um sometimes i've sold carhartt pieces in the past with stains and holes and they still sold but this one is really good not vintage but it should still bring in some good money next is this pair of shorts from asrv it's more of a gym brand if think what's some gym brand think of like alpha elite think of anaka think of I would, I would say Lululemon, just based on quality, but 10,000 brands like that. This is on par with a lot of those types of brands. Five bucks for this and an extra small. Um, I ended up passing on that because I could not find the size tag. I think the size tag was not in it. It wasn't in the pocket or anything like that. So I passed for that reason, but ASRV is really dope. Uh, but here's another pair of built joggers. These were really, really clean, and these sold I think the very next day that I listed them. So really, really good brand. If you guys aren't familiar with Built, now you know another good menswear brand to be on the lookout for because these sold super, super fast. Um, right on the floor, right next to those were another pair of Built joggers. Um, somebody probably just got rid of their entire Built collection or maybe it was, maybe it came from the Built store. Who knows? But I'm just glad I've been finding so many of these pieces. Still have that one, but um, I know it'll sell for at least 50 bucks. Now, this is my first time finding this brand as well. Para Jumpers, really, really dope. This was brand new with tags. I asked, I was talking to one of the workers at Goodwill. She told me that they brought in a ton of like luxury brands. I don't know if it all came from one person or if it just came from a boutique. I don't know what the story was, but she said she brought in an entire rack full of high-end pieces. This was just one of them. Keep in mind, I got there late, so I'm just kind of picking up the scraps, but para jumpers, psh, that should sell for at least 400. This Bottega jacket, first time finding Bottega as well. This was amazing. This one had the real, real tag, so you know it was already authenticated by them. Um, Bottega, psh, if you aren't familiar, Bottega is another really, really high-end luxury brand. This should sell for maybe 300 maybe 400 maybe a little less, because who knows? This economy, people aren't paying what I think people <laughs> would like would used to pay, but I'm definitely grabbing that up. Uh, here we got this Montclair sweater. Montclair, they, they make a lot of fakes with Montclair. I wish I showed you guys the tag with like the little holographic, the little holographic tag on the inside, but this was official. Very happy with that um size double xl but it fit more like a large xl 
type of sweater. I'm actually I'm thinking about keeping this. I was saying those Chelsea boots, I was keeping that for sure. This Montclair sweater was this was amazing. Too too good to be true. But I'm, I might end up still selling that one. Should get at least 200 bucks for that sweater. Another incredible find. This piece is from the Raban and H&M collaboration. Uh, they was asking 25 bucks for this one, so they knew they had something good on their hands with this piece. Um, just looking at the details and the heavy embroidery, I just knew this was going to be worth something. And like I said, just look at the details on this. Um, this was a very, very tacky fix that they tried to make. I'm going to have to fix this myself and make it look a lot better than that. But overall, I didn't see any major flaws with this one. Just a nice lint roller is all this needs. But I should get at least between 250 and 300 bucks for this piece because there's not a lot of these on eBay right now. But boy, this was amazing. I have for today's video let me know which one of these was your favorite find let me know if you guys learned any new brands from this video because for me this was crazy like I said in the beginning of the video I typically don't find these types of brands in thrift stores anymore it's been years since I came across stuff like this so I was glad I was able to kind of like capture the moment and just bring you guys along with me so let me know if you guys want to keep seeing more of these trip to the thrift videos and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace